typical party. The tunes are bopping, everyone's having a good time and having a few drinks. We can guess how one of our little guys is going to feel pretty soon. But did you know that the behavior of one enzyme can alter how their body reacts? In our livers, ethanol is converted to acetaldehyde and then to acetate via acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. The activity of a single enzyme is random, but the activity of a population can be mathematically modeled by the Michaelis-Menten equations. The Michaelis-Menten model describes an enzyme binding to a substrate to convert it into a product. You only need two pieces of information to predict the behavior of our enzymatic system. The Michaelis-Menten constant, Km, and the constant, Vmax. Let's pretend these robots are enzymes. Tasked with turning plastic forks into sporks. A fork goes into the actocyte of a robot and is converted into a spork. As more forks are introduced into the system, robots convert these to sporks at an increasingly faster rate. However, there are only so many robots, and eventually the maximum number of robots will be active, and adding more forks won't change the number of sporks created. This state is called Vmax, the maximum rate of catalytic reactions. The substrate concentration, where the reaction rate is half of Vmax, is called the Michaelis-Menten constant, Km. Km describes an enzyme's affinity for its substrate, where lower values mean higher enzyme affinities for substrates. For example, our row bros in the top row have a lower Km, and it takes very little substrate to saturate the system. Our less efficient row bros on the bottom have a higher Km so a higher concentration of forks is required before they're all active. Knowing how to experimentally determine Km can shed insight into our physiological differences. We have two forms of acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, a cytosolic form with a high Km and a mitochondrial form with a low Km. For most partiers, the mitochondrial form is responsible for quickly converting acetaldehyde into acetate. Some individuals have a single amino acid mutation in their mitochondrial forms that lowers its affinity for acetaldehyde. In these cases, the cytosolic form performs the bulk of the acetate production, but because of its high Km, acetaldehyde can accumulate. This accumulation causes tachycardia, flushing, headaches, and nausea. Changes in Km and Vmax can also help us identify the mode of action for different enzyme inhibitors. There are two types of inhibitors, competitive and non-competitive. Competitive inhibitors have structures that mimic the substrates and compete with the substrate for the enzyme active site. Non-competitive inhibitors don't bind to the active site, but like their competitive cousins, they also affect the catalytic rate. When a competitive inhibitor is present, such as the stainless steel fork, our robros can't distinguish between the inhibitor and their substrate. They treat the stainless steel fork like a plastic fork, but can't convert it to a spork. This slows down the overall system, so the apparent Km of the system increases. A non-competitive inhibitor, like this chip, decreases the robot's efficiency at converting forks into sporks, but has no effect on their ability to bind forks. So the overall Vmax of the system decreases, but the Km remains the same. Understanding the effects of inhibitors on enzymes is paramount in pharmacokinetics. The drug Daidzin is a competitive inhibitor of acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, and when mixed with ethanol, causes a rapid accumulation of acetaldehyde leading to nausea and vomiting. Inducing a negative reaction to alcohol has been a treatment for alcoholism for decades. Michaelis-Menten models can help predict the behavior of an enzymatic system. The Michaelis-Menten constant, 
Km is a measure of how well the enzyme binds to the substrate and how much substrate needs to be added to the system in order to reach Vmax. Tracking changes in Km and Vmax can help identify the mode of action of inhibitors. The equations can be used to model gene-protein interactions, cell population dynamics, and other biological scenarios you might be surprised follow the same dynamics. If you know where to look, the michaelis menten dynamics are everywhere, like acid aldehyde accumulation at a party. Now you've V-maximized your appreciation for enzyme kinetics.